Hello you guys, thank you for joining me for another Little Fit video. I'm Little Fit Kendall. Today, we are going to be going through a fantastic exercise using nothing but the old exercise ball that's probably collected dust somewhere in your closet. Exercise balls are absolutely incredible because not only can you do a bunch of different moves, but you can also work a bunch of different muscles with them. Today, our focus is going to be working our six pack abs as well as building and shaping our booty. So. So this is going to be a core and leg focused workout. We are going to be doing six exercises with no repeats. So once we're done with an exercise, that's it. We're done with it. So you want to make sure that you take advantage of every single rep. We are going to be doing each exercise for two minutes straight, followed by a 20 second rest. I do want to let you know if you start to feel fatigued or tired during those two minutes, I mean, it is two minutes. It's a long time. Feel free to take a little break, take a breather, and then get back into the exercise and finish that timer strong. Make sure to subscribe so that you never miss one of my fitness, workout, or nutrition videos. I'm gonna stay till the end of the video. I'm gonna be announcing how you can enter into my very first YouTube giveaway. Our first exercise is going to be our glute extension. So we're gonna lay on our back and we're gonna put our heels at the top of the ball with our toes pointed toward the ceiling. From here, we're just gonna lift our hips, squeezing our bum up toward the ceiling. We're trying to lift as high as we possibly can. We have two minutes here, you guys. If you do start to feel tired, feel free to rest for a couple of reps and then come back up. We also wanna make sure that we're exhaling as we raise our body or as we're doing the hard part and inhale as we lower our body back down to the mat. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our feet a little bit wider for the last minute. Our toes should be pointing out to the corners of the room now. Once again, squeezing our hips as high as we can. Changing our foot position like this is gonna help us hit more of the side glute, helping us get that really all around activation. Three, two, one, rest. All right, beautiful. I am already feeling that in my hamstrings, so up next we are gonna do some hamstring curls. We'll lay on our back once again with our feet up on the ball. I want you to try to lift your hips as though you just done one of those glute extensions. From there, we're going to roll that ball out and in towards our booty. Go ahead and take a rest if you need to. I know my legs were burning this entire set. Try to keep your glutes nice and high. Squeezing our heels into our bum. All right, you guys, 10 seconds here. Go ahead and take a little bit of a breather. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to lower our body a little bit, keeping our glutes low to the mat. Not quite on the mat, but then we're just going to squeeze our heels in. And you can see this 
attack the hamstrings a little differently. We want to go nice and slow, you guys. Don't rush these movements. Oh, it should be burning. All right, you guys, last 15 seconds. Let's finish strong. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, good stuff. Up next, we are going to go ahead and do some hip thrusts. And we're going to squeeze those hips up, up, up to the ceiling. A lot of booty squeezing going on in this little activation set. And you guys, I want you to think about not just lifting those hips up, but also kind of towards your face. So you want to think about making a curve as you lift that booty up. Let's really put the weight on the heels and outside edges of our feet. That'll help us get, once again, more activation in the side and upper glute. We're gonna go ahead and change position a little bit. So putting our feet together, and then we're gonna flatten our knees down to the side, lifting our hips up through the middle. So we're gonna make kind of like a really wide diamond shape with our legs. And I'm trying to push my knees down as I push my hips up. Definitely keeping the weight on the outside edges of our feet for this one. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. All right, you guys. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. All right, probably a personal favorite. We're gonna go into some reverse frog hypers. Laying on our tummy. The idea here, you guys, is we want our feet to stay together for the entire first minute, pulling our knees out nice and wide and really squeezing into our glutes. It's okay if it takes a sec to find your balance. You might have to readjust a couple of times to make sure that you've got the right leverage there on the booty, but just make sure that you get back into the exercise as soon as possible. Make sure when you bring your knees in, you're bringing them as wide as you can to the other side of the wall. And three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna change it up a little bit here. Now we're going to pull our feet out really wide. You still wanna bend those knees, bring them into the sides of the ball, but as you can see, as I kick my feet out, I'm trying to pull my heels as far from each other as I can. 
and you guys, oh my word, this might not look like much, but I promise this burns so good. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. I told you, it burns. It burns, baby. All right, you guys, excellent stuff. Up next, what we're gonna do is a plank on our forearms on the ball. The main focus here, you guys, is to hold strength in our core so that we don't get a sag in our lower back. Go ahead and rest, of course, when you need to. This one's tough, so I recommend resting for 10 seconds. All right, let's get back to it. There we go, you guys can see the shakes starting to happen a little bit. There we go, rolling forward and back, forward and back. Last 30 seconds, you guys. This is gonna be a challenge. If you wanna stay just in the plank position, it was hard enough, feel free. Uh, Lord knows this is just an extra. <laughs> Did the trick. All right, you guys, the final exercise we're gonna do is a simple exercise ball crunch. I love these because they just, they're so basic and they do the trick. I want you to think about lengthening those abs as you lean backwards and then crunching as tightly as you can as you roll forward. So as you can see here, it's almost like I'm trying to tilt my head into my lap, and that's what I want you guys to do too. The tighter we can curl our core as we do our crunches, the more bang for our buck we're gonna get out of those abs and these exercises. It's just two minutes straight of crunches here. So go ahead and take a breather if you need to. But if you can keep going, you keep freaking going. Let's burn it up, guys. Last minute, it should be feeling tough now. And remember, if you want to make it even more challenging, to keep those hands by your noggin, up by your head. Just make sure that you're not actually pulling on your head. You don't want to put any pressure on your neck. Last 20 seconds. 
Let's do it, you guys, right to the end. 